समस्त को नमस्कार सर्वप्रथमे तो मु अभिनंदन जनईबी मिस्टर जगदानंद एंड सी वाई एस डी टीम जे एत संख्या रे एट सेवेन फिफ्टीन मध्य इवन इफ इट इज सेवेन फिफ्टीन रे एत संख्या रे एत कैटेगरीज ऑफ स्टेक होल्डर्स को 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 डिस्ट्रिक्ट डिस्ट्रिक्ट रू नहीं कर हाट्स ऑफ टू यू कंग्राचुलेसन द्वितीय आपण समस्त को मु सरकार तरफ रू धन्यवाद जनाऊँगी जे आपण माने एत संख्या रे आसिले और पूरा दिन सारा आपण बसिक पॉइंट्स बाहर कर और मु आपण को आश्वासन देवा चाहूँगी जे जो भी आपण माने पॉइंट्स दे नॉट लिमिटेड टू थ्री जिते भी आम पाक आसब आम जथा संभव जथा सामर्थ्य आम ताक ग्रहण करूँ एंड वी विल ट्राई टू डू तृतीय मु छोटे गोटे पॉइंट को कहूँ लाइक अ क्वाफायर जे बहुत थर आम जिते बड़े कहूँ बेड़े बेड़े आम जानू जे कौन कौन एक्चुअली हो सो बहुत पॉइंट्स जिते बड़े आपण मैंने कहते समेर मत फेमिलीयर लगुला जे एटा तो हो बट नॉट टू से दैट आपण का पॉइंट माने इट इज कमिंग मींस समवेयर मे बी पॉलिसी एंड इम्प्लीमेंटेशन रे टिके गैप रही जा आपण का भितर जड़े किए कहले इट वाज वेरी चैलेंजिंग जे आम जिते बड़े बसिक मान डिस्कस करूल आपण आमर भावतु केते बड़ा स्टेट पाई अक्रॉस सो मेनी सेक्टर्स विथ सो मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ पीपल वी हैव टू कम आउट विथ वेरियस थिंग्स सो इट इज अ ह्यूज चैलेंज बट इमेन्सली सैटिस्फाइंग आई हैव बीन हियर इन द स्टेट नाउ फॉर थर्टी इयर्स नाउ इवन दो माय थ्री पॉइंट्स आर ओवर आई एम टेकिंग द प्ररोगेटिव ऑफ अचीव गेस्ट टू कंटिन्यू बियॉन्ड दैट वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू टेल ऑल ऑफ यू टूडे इज that odisha is on a real growth trajectory even at the cost of sounding immodest apan bhabi be je she is going on speaking like that but in my 30 years and all of you must be seeing it also jitte bede bhi ame ko forum ko bhi jau chu everywhere it is very gratifying जे ओडिशा रे ये ओडिशा डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट ओडिशा स्पोर्ट्स ओडिशा इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एवरीथिंग नाउ ओडिशा गवर्नेंस एवरीथिंग इज बीइंग प्रेज्ड एट वेरियस लेवल्स एंड इवन इफ यू सी द इकोनॉमी से ट्वेंटी इयर्स बैक आवर बजट यूज्ड टू बी इलेवन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड क्रोर्स today i am also water resources department additional chief secretary my department single department's budget is 11800 crores our total budget is 2.3 lakh crores earlier lot of apprehension should was used to be there that the budget goes largely in uh non what is called non plan means establishment salaries this that maintenance but you will be happy to know that orissa is highest in the percentage of budget it earmarks for capital expenditure today and also as usha mentioned this doesn't happen just like that in the frbm act if you see odisha is the only state i think with karnataka which has kept its fiscal deficit beyond, below the limit which has been fixed only two states in the country and that is why today we are revenue surplus we are able to think of grand schemes grand expend grand type of things and also a lot of focus on infrastructure which will flow back into the economy our per capita income in uh, 
the difference between the national figure and ours was 32 percent, which is fairly substantial. Today, there is a difference. We are still lesser, but it has come down to 12 percent. So the growth is accelerating, and in that, we need everybody's support, everybody's ideas, everybody's engagement. And I'm very happy that today all of us are sitting here, whether it's corporates, academia, development partners, panchayats, NGOs, across sectors, and we are talking about how to make Orissa shine even more. And some of the things you will be happy to know, sometimes it's not possible for you to know what is happening. Some of the things that are happening, you must have heard 5T and you must be wondering what really is 5T, what is happening. But even, let's say, the T, that transformation, that transformation is not just this economy which I'm talking about. You take airport, for a long time, all of us know, there was only one airport. Now, there are so many more and so many more in the pipeline, including Puri International Airport. For so many years, we all, all of us sitting here, lived with three medical colleges. Now, we have around 14 medical colleges, and very soon, we will be having surplus of doctors, which was a big problem in the past. <clears throat> Likewise, sports. Who would have thought that not just one World Cup, but two consecutive World Cups will be organized by a state in the national game, or take industries. After Maharashtra, the largest investment is coming into Orissa. And it is not just in what we think it is, that mineral-based industries. But believe me, that is not to say that we are complacent or that we are just sitting on that glory. There is so much to be done still, no doubt. But we are all, all of us sitting here, working towards it. Let's say, let's just take technology, somebody was mentioning. So many initiatives. I can't even list them out. Each department has been asked whatever can be done through technology or through a portal with transparency has to be done. That is the freedom that has been given to the secretaries and each one is trying. So let's say even in water resources, so many projects which for some reason or the other were lying incomplete, we are trying to ensure that they are completed so that we can. So lower Suktail in Bolangir, pending for a long time, will be inaugurated on 3rd of January next year. These are large irrigation projects which can make or, you know, they can really, really change the uh, lives of people. So there is so much happening, so many success stories, but today's topic was demography and development. In demography, I think one of the segments which we all take for granted, is 50% of the population. And as Mr. Uh, Tripathi said, I mean, each scheme, each policy, each strategy needs to be seen from a gender lens. We need to think how we can uh, involve them in take, I mean, make, make use of that 50% which is there. That, I think, in demography and development is one big segment which needs to be constantly, we need to work on it because even now there is a lot to be done. Not to say that we have this mission Shakti, as many of you are aware. I was also one of the, I was the first mission director. And since 2000, I've been seeing it from then, 2000 when it was started. And today, after so many years, the amount of confidence it has given, the economic empowerment of women, 
the political empowerment of women, the social empowerment, their role in their own family, it has made such a lot of difference. So on that note, I want to end my speech, but I do want to give you this ashwasan from my side that for us, each input is critical. In this growth journey, we cannot do it alone. Government cannot do it alone. It has not done it alone. So we need partnerships with every single stakeholder. We need as many ideas as possible. And this is one government that encourages positive and uh, new ideas. And whatever we can do, so in many things, we try to be the first in the country, the best in the country, we try. Of course, there is always miles to go, but I would like to assure you that whatever ideas have been given today are, I would like to thank you profusely for that. I would again like to thank Mr. Jagdananda and the entire team for collecting so many people, so diverse, and I would strongly encourage each one of you to continue to dream continue to think, continue to provide ideas to us, and by whatever means, either through Mr. Jagdananda or directly, you please let them come to us. I cannot assure you that all will be implemented, but we will certainly give it our best shot. Thank you.